Hi guys, we're doing something a little bit different this week. Recently I interviewed world powerlifting champion for the 100 kilo weight class, Joshua Wiseman, AKA Bearded Strength Coach. Straight after the interview, he takes me through my deadlift technique, basically trying to fix it and see if um, we could increase my weight. He puts a certain amount of kilos on straight away, within 20 minutes. Um, and I really struggle with deadlift, so it's crazy. Because of that, this week, it's gonna be called A Week With The Wise Man. Um, so yeah, so tonight will be the interview, tomorrow will be the deadlifts, uh, Thursday, Friday, back to the coast and see a guy that he's prepping for a comp this weekend. Who would even know what's going on? Maybe we'll get Trev to interview him. But here is the interview right now, A Week With The Wise Man. Check it out, Paul Leando, thousand different ways to F unfit. And one of them is beer. I'm going to celebrate and toast on a whiskey. More information on that to come. Hi guys, Paul Leando here. A thousand different ways to F unfit. I am on the Gold Coast in Rabina with the bearded strength coach, Joshua Wiseman. How you doing, Josh? Very good, man. It's good. Awesome. That's the way. Thanks, mate. Now, um, Josh is the world number one powerlifting champion for what division was it? GPC? Yeah, 100 kilo class. Yep. Powerlifting Global powerlifting committee. Um, first of all, well, first of all, I've been growing my beard for a couple of weeks. What do you reckon? It's yeah, good. Good. Close? <laughs> good. Yeah, no, no, no good work to be done, maybe. Okay. Right. Well, <laughs> 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 all right. So, second of all, how do you f unfit? Basically, I just uh, I lift and uh, that keeps me positive, keeps me focused on a goal. Every time I go to a comp, I've got a, got a goal to go to and uh, work towards, and that's the reason. It keeps me consistent, keeps me motivated, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right. Okay. So, how long have you been powerlifting for? Since about 2013, I've been competing. So for four, roughly four years. Four years. Okay. And how many comps would you say you've been in since starting? Ah. Uh, State titles every year since 2014, state titles, national titles, and then the last year, 2016, I did the, the three of them, one, three of them, yeah. Wow. Now, did you, when you first set out in, say, you know, 13, 14, did you, have, did you aspire to be a world champion, or was it just something that came along, or no. you fell into it, or? No, yeah, basically, uh, I used to go to uh, see goal when I was about 21, I've always lived with, with mates and that. Yeah. Um, and when I was 21, I just used to go into Brisbane for a and this guy had a gym in there and he was, I watched his YouTube, Damon Hayhill, and he just lifted crazy weight, like pulling over 300 kilos. And I just always, yeah, just a motivation instead of just rocking out the gym and yeah. looking at the mirror and uh, not getting or not seeing what I was really wanted, wanted to see and, yeah, do one of his programs and yep. never look back pretty much. Awesome, good yeah. stuff, good stuff. Yeah. All right, so what would you say is your greatest achievement in powerlifting so, so far? It would be, uh, have to be the winning the three in a row, pretty much the state yeah. title, national title, and the, uh, the world title. There was probably 300, uh, oh no, sorry, 75. Yeah. 75 uh, to go through to make the national title. Yep. And then there was probably at the conference of probably about 20, 25 guys that had to be and the world title went to be in there. Wow. <laughs> That's just epic. Yeah, okay. mm. Alright, so and well, you know, conversely to that, what's what's the hardest thing that you've had to endure or overcome that's come from training or powers? It's basically uh, just the everyday grind, just trying to get the work. because uh, we're at Chippies, just getting up early, trying to get to work. Uh, food prepping, stuff like that, and then uh, getting home and being a family man too. It's just, yeah, it, uh, yeah it's just every day, pace and grind. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, keep on going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay, so what was your schedule like then leading into, um, like, you know, well, I suppose the world, but you would be doing it, I suppose, prelims, states, and national. Yeah. What was your schedule in training and, and kind of diet? Can you run us through that for the people at home who have no idea what yeah. this actually entails? Basically, you do a most powerlifters will basically run on a 12 week program, so every three months you sort of work it out so you can hit a so we start with states, work 12 weeks out, which is around Christmas time. Yep. So you hit March roughly, then uh, June we hit nationals, and then uh, 
roughly September or so, World Title. So you just got that program. Yeah. Uh, and you just meet towards that program. You just start off a low weight, obviously, and just work your way up. Yeah. Intensity, and then uh, yeah. So oh. it's over that 12 weeks, yeah, which my coach does for me, and I, uh, yeah, they're, it's all basically made out the same. Yeah. And you just up and end every time, yeah. Okay, awesome. And who's your coach? We better give him a shout out because. Uh, yeah, yeah, Thomas Lilly from uh, BTC Gold Coast. Boom! Um, did it! <laughs> Boom! He can do this for you. Maybe <laughs> not for you, he did it for him. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Mad. Okay, now, is there a, a daily ritual that you sort of live by or a song that anchors you before you come in? Like, you know, is there something that you do that, like, if I do this every day or before I train or when I get up, it just sets my day off? Basically, it's just before uh, a heavy session, we get a lot of anxiety, of course, mainly squat session or war and deadlift session. Yep. And I just listen to motivational, like Eric Thomas, Tony Robbins. Awesome. Um, yeah, and Les Brown, pretty much, just to get me uh, yeah. sore. So it doesn't sound. Um, yeah, it's mainly anxiety, just trying to get rid of that anxiety and that just confidence that you can do it. And, uh, I'll pray a little bit before lift yeah. And, and yeah, and then just give it everything. That's try and stay in a positive mindset, yeah. That's the key, isn't it? Yes, that's, yeah. that's it. Okay, is there is there a mantra that you kind of live by or a motto that you have that you know gets gets you through or it's gives the people? It's the same as uh, like it's the same with most motivational speakers use or most successful people is just don't give up pretty much. Yeah. That's all just consistency and just keep on keep on and that's yeah. it. That's it pretty much. Don't give up. Started at a very average average weight when I started the thing, so yeah. I'll, yeah, more than double, but so it just takes time. Yeah. Okay, now another question is, is there a piece of advice that someone has given you over the years that's really stuck with you that maybe, you know, you'd like to share for some people who, who would be struggling to find their own fitness um, at home? Like, is there anything yeah, that sort of comes to mind? Mainly just uh, picking up just small goals, pretty much just making small goals every day. Yep. And uh, make sure you stick to it. If you don't, you just have to try and stick to small stuff. It yep. doesn't matter what it is. And uh, the longer you stick to it, the longer, uh, the bigger goals you can pick. And, and yep. that's, that's basically it. Yeah. That's good advice. Uh, that's, that's good. That's good advice. <laughs> that's good advice. And some good advice as well, because a lot of us, we have this far off goal yeah. and it seems a bit intangible. When you break it down into manageable steps, you can get to the 70 kilo deadlift and then the 80 and then yeah. eventually get to the 140 that's um, it that's it yeah which would probably be your warm-up for yeah. one-legged deadlifts so yeah i would imagine <laughs> so just a little bit of, uh, of an overview of what we're going to do now so about three years ago i hurt my back i thought it was my back it was actually tight hamstrings and it was from deadlifts and i i couldn't go to the gym for six months um which was a really it was a terrible time in my life um and then I could train again, but I, I didn't really do deadlifts at all for about a year and a half, and I'd squat maximum 40 kilos, because that's all really I could handle. So the last four or five months, I've been able to start trying to work my, my way up to lift heavy again, and I've got my, I got my squat to 90, and I've got my deadlift to 100, no two reps. So what I'd like to do is go through with the bearded strength coach and uh, you know get him to suss out my technique because I'm sure it's not right, um, it's not correct. I'm sure he'll be able to give me some pointers so that we can get my deadlift up. And then maybe you know in a couple of months' time when you're you're training for something else, we'll come do another interview. We'll try maybe a, you know like a squat. You can give me some some tips on that. Yep. But we'll see how the deadlift is because that's something I really want to to get strong and get back into. So is that cool with you? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, Ryan. Thanks so much, man. Thanks. Let's man. go do this. Yeah. It's going to be an embarrassment. No. <laughs> For me.